In this chapter, we will learn about refraction of light through spherical lens, right? Okay. So we have noticed in the shop of a watchmaker that they use a round type of the glass, right? So what they make use of it? Actually, they want to see the small object with a larger view, right? And when I was in the class five or six. I told to my friend that I can burn a paper without the help of a match stick, right? So he surprised. Actually, we didn't know about the spherical lens, but we have got one of it at my house. And I told to my friend that I am going to show you a magic, right? So in the sunlight, we burned a paper, and we knew that this glass is not a normal type of the glass, but it has. A special property, right? But now we are in class six, and we know that we can have a lot of idea about the lens, which is included in our science book, right? Here we must know what is lens, right? A lens is a piece of transparent glass. Okay, we have got use of the lens in our day-to-day -day life in making spectacles in camera. in microscope telescope film projectors and nowadays we are using also a computer projectors there is also use of lens right besides this there are many use of lens inside the studio okay so it is important to learn about the refraction of light through lens right a lens is actually a piece of transparent glass bounded by two spherical surface let me explain more about lens right the part that i cut out from the two circle actually is a solid mass of glass and it will look like this okay this is the curved part theek okay. hai curved region here also this side is curved region and it is thicker at the center and thinner at the end right so we can also name this as this is a this curved surface is a and this curved surface is b okay so we uh, call this surface as convex surface right convex convex surface right it is bulged at center we can realize it by touching the surface now if we invert this half portion then i just inverted the half portion that means the b part and right part okay so we will get a concave lens it is called concave lens and this one is called convex lens convex lens is bulged near the center okay and it is just opposite to the convex lens it has concave surface at the middle this is called concave surface right this one is also a concave surface and we can name this as c and d so this surface is c and this surface is d now we have to know something more about these lenses right i first want to know about the uh, convex lens right so suppose i am drawing a convex lens again here now convex lens have a center point which is called optical center okay so what is the characteristic of this optical center if light passes through this point then it passes without any deviation straight way if it passes like this it will pass through without any deviation from any direction right so this is the characteristic of the optical center right 
so the next thing is that every lens has a focal length right that means if parallel light falls from one side on this lens all the parallel light will converge on a point and that point is called focus of the lens right i am showing here suppose this is the lens first i am drawing the principal axis of the lens right suppose parallel rays are coming from infinity parallel lines are coming from infinity okay all this line will meet at a point right and this point is called focus and we denote it with point f now similarly if the ray of light falls from the right side then it will converge on the left side on a point that is also called the focus of the lens and we denote it with f dot right and the other important thing about this is the distance between the optical center we denote optical center with the letter c the distance between optical center and focus is called focal length okay and this is denoted by the small letter f right and we name this axis with a name principal axis right principal axis it is the axis of the lens right mm. now similarly for the uh, concave mirror it is just like same i am drawing here again this is a concave mirror it also has a optical center as usual and this is a principal axis okay this is the focus of the lens this is the second focus right and similar this is the principal axis okay mm, the what will happen if the ray of light uh, come from infinity then what will the light will not converge it will diverge actually like this okay and if we extend this line on the back side then it will meet appear to meet on a point okay i just extended this light back side and it will feel that it will be seem to be converge on a point that is called a focus of the concave lens right uh, i will i am drawing another uh, clear picture of the concave lens i can denote with f dot or f so this refracted light appears to meet on the same side uh, from where the light was incident on the lens the this reflected light appears to meet on a point okay there may be another uh, numerous parallel lines that all the lines after refractions will appear to meet at this point and that is called the focus of this concave lens